Lise Ligier seeded eight. And it's your non seeded. So it's not exactly the final that most expected. You can see a lot of seeds falling by the wayside there. Luke took care of uh, Suniyama in straight games yesterday. Lee got past Antonsen, who in fact had to retire in the second game, but he was a game down and well behind in the second. So he was well beaten of the day, really. When I was looking at the schedule for today, looking at the finals, this kind of stood out as one that would be potentially one of the tightest. Uh, 23 years of age now. Great year last year for Malaysia. And he's one of those players that on his day can be anyone. Might only be ranked 19 in the world, but I'm not sure that tells you the whole story. Lee has won their only previous meeting. Okay. So the Australian Open in the quarterfinals. Right. And you just just a Back couple of months ago. It did take one hour, 23 right minutes, however. Service, that side, change. Actually, amazing story this year with Lise Gier. He's had a, until now, a really desperate 2023. He's lost in a host of first round and second round events. And he said a while back he was thinking just taking a break from it all, but uh, he's found something this week. It just takes one tournament sometimes to. Turn your whole season around. The player has won titles, including the All England. There is his path to this final. His last two opponents have retired. Leon and then Anders Antonsen. I'd say that's the easiest route through, though, would you? Took him an hour in the second round. Lindsay Young, who's a couple of years younger than 23. His 19 ranking is the best of his career. Eventually, he can beat big names. He got a silver in the Commonwealth Games last year, and he beat Lo Kian Yu, who was the top seed there and the world champion at the time. He's beaten uh, Chiang Ten Chen. In this event, he's beaten Victor Axelson this season. This is his first final of the year. He's got to seven quarterfinals and one semi. So maybe it's his time. What I said about Lee Zijia, Chris, that he, he nearly thought, look, Ready I need to just take play. a break from this. Did that ever happen to you in your career? Did you get to a point where you just think, do you know what, it's not really happening for me. I need to do something maybe drastic about it. Yeah, I think if players are, you know, brutally honest, there's there's times in the, all of their careers where they doubt themselves and they doubt if they can continue doing it and if they want to do it. I think it's fantastic for the sport. Lee Zijar carried on because he is an incredible player. There's no doubt about that. And he's got fans all over the world. And he's found a solution, hopefully, to his desire to want to play. Well, I think it, if he wins today, it will be a title that will mean a massive amount to him. Last win was last year at the Thailand Open. It's 
also Asian champion last year, but Ladies this year just gentlemen. hasn't put it together oh yet. Life, Zijian, Malaysia. And on my left, Ng Seyong, Malaysia. Lizzie Jan to serve. Love all. Play. Seamus helping from Ireland, by the way, is the umpire for this one. Service over. One. Pretty impressive, Ng Seyong there. On the net earlier, the net cord. Yesterday I watched his match, he got so many net cords. Fantastic attack to finish with. It's long. I saw a Two. statistic that did surprise me. This is the first time Malaysia have had um, men's singles finalist in a tournament of this calibre. Wow. Uh, they obviously had, you know, the legend, Lee Chong Wei, but at the time he was the, the main player that they had. So it's fantastic for Malaysia to have two singles players in the final of a tournament of this calibre. I commentated yesterday on uh, Lee Zijia's match against uh, Anders Antonsen. Yes, Antonsen retired in the end, but, but Lee was really good. There, there didn't seem to be any issues uh, in terms of you know, the poor season he's had. He looked back to somewhere near his best. And I think the big thing for me with Lee Zijar, there was no doubt, for me personally anyway, about his ability. It was his his belief in himself, his hunger for success. Desire, he, yeah. Yeah, he went through a period of time where he, he, he doubted a lot of things, he questioned a lot of things. Look at him there, he's so aggressive on that. He can do some things that are phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal, like physically. But there, he's so aggressive on it, ready, bang. And he, he is a unique player, and I think it just took him a bit of time to figure out exactly which direction he was going to go in and how he was going to do it. Brilliant attack. And, you know, already has shown signs of how exciting this is going to be. In the match yesterday with Ng Siong, I was so impressed. His first game was absolutely incredible. Um, and if it's going to be a match where that continues, we're, we're in for a real, real treat today. What well, he was he was brilliant against uh, Lu Guangzhou um, for that. Straight games, knocked out the number four seed. And he's one of those players, as I said, he could be anyone. There's no, there's no fear factor there at all. That's why I think this could be a, a real classic, this match. Great deception there, deception there from Easy Jar. For anyone who's wondering, you know, why both players are coached, which is a strange thing considering they're from the same countries. Because we have a national player in Ng Si Young, who's with the National Federation, and an independent player with Li Zijia. Five, three. Good judgment there. Wow. wow. He's in the mood today. But it, it, the stuff he can do overhead Six, is... Three. It is exceptional. He's in an OK position, not a great position. It's a good lift. Look how deep the lift is, and he's put it on the line. It's almost like he, he's placed it. I think he could, he's hit that better than if I tried to hand place it or yeah. throw it myself. 380 kilometres an hour plus, that one. Service over. Four, six. <laughs> Shelling peas at the moment. Yeah, I think NC Young's got to just be a little bit careful how much he, he's lifting. Four. When he played yesterday against Suniyama, Suniyama couldn't get through him. 
but we're talking about a very different player here. Li Zijia has such a phenomenal overhead attack. Brilliant. Service over. Well, fight, fire. fire with fire might Seven. be the best policy. What we've seen so far, it's been a, a welter of winners from both men. It doesn't look like the kind of match, Chris, where we're going to see Eight. lots of lengthy rallies, does Five. it? No, both players have been very aggressive, and they're only really going out or lifting when there's the space to do that. You can't just lift to try and outmaneuver your opponent because both players have such a good attack. Service over. Six, eight. And again, almost any time a player's on balance with the attack, Seven, both players eight. have such a good attack that it's proving so important here because there you can see Lee Jijia so late that Ung Si Young's on balance there. Great slice attack, the placement. Service over. Nine. Kind of a bit seven. of a mix between forcing it with some simpler unforced errors and then moments of brilliance. So kind of both sides of the coin we're getting at the moment. Service over. Eight, nine. <laughs> wow. So that last net shot, wasn't it, that really set it up, Ten, pushed eight. his opponent back, and then was able to make a really impressive kill cross court. And it was such an incredible net exchange during that rally. And Lee Zizia, you just feel it at 480 kilometers per hour. I mean, at any point, if he gets the chance, he can get up and hit something magical from the back. The right shot. 11, eight, Just missed it by eight, a fraction. Yeah, obviously, Lizzy G's got power with the uh, jump smash, but that, not that point. The one before showed us the subtle touches he also has in and around the net. Just seven minutes for those 19 points. overhead. Well, I mean, you almost can't eight. lift. He's on balance there. It, it, it's, it's hard to even explain how he does his overhead. You can't teach someone that. It's just, it's like so much explosive power. It's almost from like nothing to just pure massive smash. It, it's, yeah, it's phenomenal.
just the wrong side of the line. That one. Silver. It is Nine. almost a case of that. When he hits Twelve. an overhead, it's either a win or a mistake. There's no kind of middle ground because it's that he's hitting that close to the line. It's so hard for him to see on to cover it. Left is deep, but it's just a sheer power. It was on to Nzi Young before he could do anything about getting his racket anywhere close to a position to get it back. He's playing very well. He's doing everything right. He's holding net, and then when Unsi Young steps forward, he goes over him, and then he's aggressive, and he just keeps the attack. Could have gone either side there, couldn't he? Yeah. He has such a big wind-up on his smash, but generates so much power. Brilliant. Service over. 10, 15. Do think Unsi Young's got to get the net, so then he ends up getting the attack, forces Li Zijia to lift over him. from Siong and then just missed. 16, 10. I'd say it's a slight difference at the moment. Li Zijia can he can handle the attack from Siong. Whereas Siong at the moment is struggling with the phenomenal power, the sheer brute strength of Li Zijia. Saw there how high up the court he was. He just forced it out. But Li Zijia there when he went over the backhand, his base, his base position is so high. Because he knows and Siong's not going to go out in that situation. Big smash. Just dragged his racket down. Brilliant, he steps in. Easy Jar steps in so well and turns it so early. When you take the shuttle early, you give your opponent no time. And that's another another good example also. It's not just power, there's subtlety as well. Yeah, finesse. He's got yeah, he's got everything so far. Winning those little exchanges too. 18, this is the 11. thing at the moment. Un Siong, he hasn't really done that much wrong. I'd say Li Zijia has been absolutely exceptional. Well, he's putting on something of an exhibition here, isn't 11. he? 25 year old. That's the thing. As soon as Unsiyong goes out, Li Zijia just getting up and hitting, hitting with such power. Unsiyong's almost got to play a no lift style. He can't afford to go out at the moment because he's just struggling to con contain the attack from Li Zijia. Sarah Silver, 12, 19.
job for the stringers upcoming. Yeah, and for anyone who wonders why players cut the strings out instantly, it's just that there's so much tension in the frame when the string goes. The tension isn't then evenly spread. It's spread in such a weird way that the frames, if they're left in their rackets, they can almost explode or crack. 12, 19. Good rally from and see on there. 19. Moved the shuttle around really well. I mean, this game is probably beyond him, but any encouragement he can get, win a few points, come out in better heart for the second game. So that sets up seven game points here for Lee. For me in that situation, I, I know he's in 30. trouble, and see Young Nebi can't clear. He has to just neutralise the rally, put the shuttle back in flat, because every time he goes out, I'd say 80% of the times he's lifted or gone out, Lizzie Jars hit an exceptional overhead. Service over. And then Siong showing it's just as good. 14, if you give him time 20. overhead, he can be just as devastating. Rare moment of defiance. Shem and Siong, but still six game points. Well, how impressive was that game. from Lizzie Shear? He takes the game, 21 points to 14. Doesn't really tell the whole story. It only took 16 minutes, and he was all over the young like a rash. And it will be a major effort for the latter if he can find a way back into this, based on the evidence of that opening game. Second game, love all, play. So can Lee pick up where he left off in that opening game? One, he was absolutely love. terrific. Start of this one there, and Siong, he's, he's gone for a more flat, aggressive game, but Lee Zijar's shown he's just as impressive in a flat game. He's got such a big wind-up on his overhead, but he can generate so much power. The placement there is good, but it's not amazing, but it's just the sheer power. Three, 
Long. Yeah, and I think in Siong, he does look unsettled. Just a little bit of indecision. He's not too sure what shot to play. What a catch. And wins the point somehow. And Izzy Young must be thinking, what do I have to do to find a way past this man? Yeah, this, that is an incredible pickup. I thought the rally was over. This is the thing for Lizzie Jai. He's just got to keep doing what he's doing. He doesn't change anything, keeps flowing, keeps the points going. And it's NC Young that he's the one that has to change what he's doing. But then by doing that, he's starting to almost think too much. Indecisive in what shots to play. over how phenomenal the power he's generating is. Any chance, any chance the shuttle's going up. And Unsi Yong's net has been pretty good. At least he's when he's lifting off the net, he's lifted so well that when Unsi Yong's trying to attack, he's not in a great position. The height he gets on those jump smashes as well. You could tell from. Easy Jar's body language, then he knew that was going out. One, Just overdid it slightly. Five. I think it was the right shot. Oh dear. That rather sums up his afternoon so far. It's tough though. Six, you can tell it went one. right in the TV lights. The lights can be quite strong at a certain angle. And I mean, great lift from Lizzy Jarbe. He's gone right in the line. He's totally mistimed it and it's come off sort of the T piece or the shaft. But again, that just puts a bit more doubt in in Siong's mind. Oh. It's just slipping away from him there. It's the wrong shot Seven, from Lizzy Jarbe. Too flat. What's amazing to me is the way you can just see the confidence come flooding back into Lizzy Jarbe's game. Not just this match, but all week, to be honest. But this is the thing for me personally, I never doubted his ability. Uh, like, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. And this is the thing, he is, a, he is a phenomenal player, you know? And this week he's just kind of, so far anyways, he's proving it to people. Well, you don't get to be number two in the world and win events like the All England without being very, very special. I think the biggest issue was he lost the desire, the hunger, the love for the sport. Gonna challenge that. Challenge Maybe just because he can. Well, it was closer than I thought, actually. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. I do think that that was quite an important rally. And Si Yong to give him belief that he can eight. contain the attack from Li Zijia. This is probably one of the first rallies Wait. of the match where four or five Li Zijia's attack and Si Yong's actually dealt with. Services so resumed. So yeah. Nine, three. I would say it's a risk. It's a risk flicking him when he reads it. But 
And Siong, he's got to try and get hold of the net. He's got to get the net. He's got to get in a position where Li Zijia is lifting over him. And also in the rally earlier on, it was a better lift from Eun Si Young. You can see here, short lift. And he can use his phenomenal attack as well. I would say so far, Li Zijia, he really has stopped Eun Si Young from really being able to play. Eun Si Young was so good yesterday, especially in the first game. Possibly jumped the serve there. Five, nine. I think Li Zijia knew Eun Si Young was not going to flick that one. So he very early on that serve. going to challenge that. This one might have more luck, I think. That is really close. I would say it's a better rally. It's a more true rally. Both players moving the shuttle around. It's been an incredibly quick match. 26 minutes so far. Was that? Yeah, I yeah, thought it was. Out. Service over. Great challenge, Li Zijia. Ten, five, play. Just haunts that little bit of mini momentum that Lindsay was building up. Yeah, and you can see when he pun 11, punches the shuttle into the, the backhand, Lindsay Young, his base is so high. Li Zijia, he's literally just behind the front service line. Eleven five. Play. Brilliant again. Lizzy Joe is just everywhere. He's reading the game. He's on the shuttle. Fantastic spin. Waits there. Rush. He knows that. And Siong doesn't want to lift it. Kept the attack there in Sion. And this is what Sorry, I personally would like to see more from him. Six. Keeping the shuttle going in a downward direction. Did he 
make it. Just no out. point. Seven, twelve. And the first pickup from Lizzie Jar was. I don't know how he got that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. He does really well to crouch for that as well. Nearly pulls off something magical. It's the wrong shot. He's pushed it upwards around Lizzie 13, Jar's back end. Lee, Lizzie Jar's too sharp in the mid. Uh, he's not made him move. Towards a fabulous over. rally again. Eight, yeah, I think he was almost 14. stuck between shots there, Lizzie Jar. Wasn't totally sure which shot to play. And almost tried to play too perfect a shot. Get the attack, get in a good position there. Brilliant. Speed, that explosive 15, movement. Nine. He gets that chance to get up and hit the any kind of attack. But I don't know if we've seen Lizzie uh, Jar hit many drop shots. He doesn't need to when his attack's that phenomenal. He doesn't really need the variation. Service over. 10, 15. working as a player and please enjoy the power ten. attack is working relentless as soon as he's on balance in a good position he unleashes that incredible attack So it's, it's incredibly sim simplistic um, gameplay and tactics from Lizzie Jar in regards to get the attack. When you get the attack, you know, unleash the, the weapon that he has, the phenomenal smash. And it is working so well. Well, it's been 18, 11. man against boy for much of this contest. I think even so Young would admit that. Bit of a hammering in the first game and second game. Following suit, really. Yeah. 
Brilliant. Brilliant from MC Young. And I would say, it's, it's, for me, it's been a combination of well, moments of absolute 80. magic from Lee Zijar. But Lee Zijar stopped MC Young from playing, and he hasn't really felt comfortable. He hasn't really got into the match. Turn a serve. Brilliant pick up. What a rally. Well, it seems to have done most of the hard work there. You see Young then, after a couple of wonderful bits of retrieving, just went long. Yeah, it was such an exceptional rally. We had everything, and then for, the, for it to end in that manner, simple, clear, just pushed too long. A long way as well. Long, long way out. See now and see Young is. He doesn't have a clear mind. The shot selection there. Okay, he's got to try something different, but that's that's a bit too much, a bit too extreme in that situation. And then a simple mistake. Eight championship points for Lee Zijia. Yet his first trophy of the year. Just a fraction long. Service over. Almost certainly only a stay of execution. 20. For Lindsay Long. Great attack from Lindsay Long. I think we might see here possibly a more aggressive return of serve. Lee Zijar now. Just for a moment. About trickling over. Just forcing these points just a fraction now. Easy job. Three saved. Five to go. Too much better than that, really. It was almost exhibition stuff at times. 21-15 in the second game. A match that only lasted 39 minutes. And a man who nearly stopped playing in the middle of this year has got his appetite back and he's got a trophy to put on the sideboard. Once a young in a decent tournament, but this is the man who will make all the headlines. So talented. Now, now he appears 
to have his hunger and his desire back for the game. I'm sure there'll be a lot more torn. Presentation for the men's singles event at Clash of Clans Arctic Open, powered by Yonex, part of HSBC BWF World Tour. So players will be out very shortly for the trophy presentation for this men's singles. Please welcome the finalists. Check for just shy of sixteen thousand US dollars will be some consolation. Arctic Open. Lee Chi Jia, Malaysia. Thirty one and a half thousand US and the ranking points, but you think for him more than almost the both of those just the realization that he's back to somewhere close to his best after a year in the doldrums. Take a few photos. Be great for him to be back in the winner's circle after the year that he's had. Thank you, So next we put the focus back on the doubles, and it's the uh, women's doubles final. Lu Shengshu and Tan Ning have made such an impression this week, the young Chinese pair against the experienced Kitty Heracle and Prajong Chai. That's next.
Well, a warm welcome back inside the Energy Arena. And we've reached match number four of our finals day here. It's the women's doubles, Lu Shengshu and Tan Ning of China up against uh, John Kopa and Kitty Herakal and Raminda Prajongjai of Thailand. Officials on their way to the court. That's how these two finalists have got here. Both of them, as you can 